Hey guys, Amy Simchia. So today we're going to look at the Christmas Nemu, who was from the Santa Claus summons. I'm going to look at her NAD build, SAD build, hybrid build, as well as the St. Kaizen build. And taking a look at her stats, we got stamina 1040, attack 708, defense 355, focus 341, and SP 724. Her kill is hollow, meaning she does 20% extra damage to hollow units. And her special is Mayuri special Christmas tree. So Nemu launches a festive rocket that causes immense damage, inflicts confusion and automatically revives subsequently fallen team members once, so similar to the Bankai Kisuke. Her Sultra is normal attack damage plus 20% and her 6 star abilities uh, increase normal attack damage 40% from the actual 6 star ability, however plus the Sultra is 60%, increase strong attack damage 30%, bombardment which is one plus 1 hit on the actual special, Debilitator, Weakened Defense, Sprinter, and that's it. And as you can see from the main kit, she has confusion on every single attack, including her normal attack as well. So, taking a look at her NAD build, we've got a Gold Chap with 30 attack, a Normal Chap with 30 attack, and a Captain's Rope with 30 attack. And regarding her links, we've got 25, 25, and 25% normal attack damage increase, as well as her actual Soul Trait. So you guys know the drill, no boosters, no friends, and let's see how she does. Alrighty, so let's look at a normal attack. So 4,200 damage per hit to 5.5k, and her range is pretty nice, so is her speed. Got a very nice balance. So first strong attack, about 800 damage, and just remember we got 0 SP because of those chappies. Second strong attack, about 1k per hit. And third strong attack, a full screen with 1500 damage per hit with no SP. So I really like that she has a nice balance between the speed of her normal attacks as well as the range. Some characters have very long range or slow speeds or fast speed and terrible range. I think the best character in terms of normal attack for range characters is probably the Christmas Uru. She has really fast normal attack speed, even faster than this Nemu, and very nice range as well. But don't get me wrong, this Nemu is pretty decent in terms of normal attack as well. The only difference is, is that Christmas Uru is really NAD oriented when Nemu is more hybrid as you can tell by her stats. It's also cool that she's, the second character to get a revive as well. It took a while for another character to get one, first one being the Bonka Kisuke and he was released I believe about 5-6 to six months ago so a very long time although I wish Nemi was a different color as well I would like a revive on a red character or even a blue character as well that would be nice but as you can see she's absolutely destroying this raid unfortunately we did get frozen But you can build this character any way you want, to be honest. It's got a nice spread of stats as well, and these are 6-star abilities as well. She does have Bombardment, so it won't really work on this kind of build, since we don't have any SP. Well, we're getting frozen from every angle. But I'm pretty sure she'll hit really hard. Alright, and boss time. So I will show off a special, and just a reminder, we do have 0 SP, so we don't do any crazy damage, but it's guaranteed confusion. Yeah. We are gonna get weakened, unfortunately. He did his mod, that was pretty funny. The mob actually died from 16 is special. And there you have it, 2 minutes 23 for the Tsukushima raid, which is considered one of the more harder raids compared to the others, but let's move on to the next build. So, taking a look at the SAD build, we got a Yuki Dispenser with 30 SP, a Tenshin Tai with 30 SP, and a Fortification Pill with 30 SP. Regarding her links, we got 25, 25, and 25% increase on attack damage, making an overall of 75%. And let's see how this build does, it should be interesting. Alrighty, so first strong attack, we've got about 1600 damage per hit, and normal attack has dropped to about 
1k damage per hit as well. So first strong attack, about 4,400 damage per hit, and second strong attack, about 3k as well. So she is doing some decent damage with her strong attacks. Obviously she does lack frenzy, but still decent as well. Alright, second strong attack. I'm not sure how wide the range is on the second strong attack. I feel like it's pretty decent. But that pushback on that first strong attack is pretty nice as well. I can tell you from now, the Senkaizen build is going to be an absolute beast. I don't want to get frozen. The confusion is a nice add as well to a kit. Yeah, I'm not sure how many hits a normal attack string does. I felt like it was like 8 hits. Well, I'm pretty sure he hurt himself right there as well. Confusion. Honestly, I'm not really fond of this build. I feel like it's okay. I prefer the Mad build. But I will definitely think I'd prefer the hybrid build more than both of them. But I feel like she's lacking something. I don't know what it is. Especially with this build. And things, I'm not sure what her mags are on her strong attacks as well. I feel like they're standard. Like your normal 1.2s. I believe it's boss time. Alright, now we can actually show off the damage on the special. But I will skip the animation. Oh, there you have it, 16k. So, 2 minutes 27. Alright, let's move on to the hybrid build. So, regarding a hybrid build, we have a Yuki Dispenser with 30 attack, a Tenshin Tower with 30 SP, and a Hollow's Bait with 30 SP. And regarding the links, we have the Frenzy Yoroichi, the Frenzy Grim Gel, and the Frenzy Byakuya. So, I think this build should be better than the other two, and I'm hoping it's going to be actually fast as well. But let's find out. Alrighty, so first strong attack, we got 1,400 damage per hit. Normal attack is about 1,800 damage per hit to about 2k. Third strong attack, about 3,500. And second, about 2,400. Yeah, this nice balance between strong attacks and normal attack definitely feels better than just having a strong attack damage build. Especially with a character that's lacking frenzy. But as you guys know, with K-Lab, not everyone can have Flurry or Frenzy. Trust me, Bombardment is not bad as well, especially in PvE. And that she's got a Revive as well. A very good character for Carl. Especially with the new Beta Carl coming out with the Hard Mode. I'm not sure whether they've given a name or not. But I think the Beta is releasing in Jan, I'm not sure exactly when. Yeah, it should be very ideal for this. I'm hoping they'll give us a little teaser on the Bunkai livestream about the new mode. Or we'll announce something big that's going to happen for Bleach Brave Souls in 2019. But is the type of character where I can see her in like any PvE co-op event for a very long time just because of that revive. It's so valuable. First strong attack. It's a good thing I use that third strong attack. We got frozen. So I believe this is the last room before the boss. Right, second strong attack. I don't think we procked any confusion. Well, that's a really wide range. 
defuse it from a distance. I wonder how the range is on PvP, to be honest. Oh, we did get burnt. Oh, these guys have freeze as well. Alright, and boss time. So again, I will use this special straight away since we do have some SP. And I'm pretty sure this time we won't one-shot him. Or maybe we will because of tension tie. And there it is. 11k on the boss and 14k on the mob due to the holo kill as well. And 2 minutes 24. But next, let's check out the St. Kaizen build. And that's going to be an absolute killer. So regarding the St. Kaizen build, we've got the exact same gear as the hybrid build. So the Yuki, Tenshin, Tai, and the Hollow's Bait. And obviously the links are the St. Kaizen links. So I feel like the St. Kaizen links are going to be very powerful this character since she is in hybrid and has balanced stats between her SP and attack. And the St. Kaizen increases for each link at full health, 40% strong attack damage and 20 normal attack. And let's see how she goes. Let's try and remove that friend. Alrighty, so first strong attack, 2300 damage per hit, and normal attack is about 3k per hit. Third strong attack, about 6k, and second, about 4000. She's gonna absolutely kill this. We just can't get hit. I will lose heaps of damage for both Ned and our Sads. Surprise, we missed. I'm gonna use a third strong attack here. And I was hoping we'd hit the second group of mobs. I think we did. Mm, well. This is definitely a build for her. Yeah, I feel like with this build we should finish under two minutes. Alright, third strong attack. Wow, she's causing chaos. And I believe this is the last room for the boss as well. But she's having no trouble whatsoever. I think it's definitely been quicker if we didn't have the range guard enemies as well. Oh, don't want to get hit. And we can definitely nuke the boss. <laughs> wow, 23k per hit. And she's got bombardment, so she can nuke basically any boss. And there you have it. 1 minute 43, about 40 seconds faster than the other three builds. So overall Christmas Nemu is a really fun character to play with, I'm happy with her normal attack range and speed as well. Usually characters that I've played with that are hybrid builds usually lack either range or the speed on their normal attacks if they are ranged, but let me tell you Nemu has a very nice balance as well. Regarding her kit, honestly I really enjoy her kit, although I didn't really enjoy with the strong attack damage build, it's really weird, however her NAD hybrid as well as her Senkaiser build were absolutely amazing, definitely Senkaiser build, she's an absolute monster. I know people really enjoy characters with either Flurry or Frenzy, but let me tell you, I'll definitely use this character in co-op events just because of her revive and her kit as well, and she's got bombardment, so she can nuke the boss and guarantee confusion as well, meaning the boss can damage himself or herself as well as the enemies around him. So would you get this character 200? Absolutely agree. Would you max out her soul link boosts? Personally, I would say a layoff for now, if you've got characters like Onohana, or Ryuken, or even Titi Uzuru who's an absolute beast as well. I'll definitely be upgrading those character soul link boosts instead of Nemu for now. However guys, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more Bleach Brave Souls content and enjoy the rest of your day.